Hi, Julie. We'll say good morning to everybody this morning. I know the crowd will come in the closer we get to lunch. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll praise the Lord for that. Amen. Uh, I got a call from Brother Charlie Milton yesterday evening, and he's not going to be able to be here. He wasn't feeling good, so we're going to fill in for him this morning. And as I was leaving the house, Sister Janet called, and she's not going to be able to be here. She's not feeling well. And... Lucille's not well, so, well, we'll just take what we've got and press on. We've just got to keep on, hold these up in prayer. Uh, this thing is real. Uh, it, it, it is real, but we can overcome. We've got one that'll help us to overcome. And I just want to praise him this morning. Uh, we'll get our announcements here. Uh, we don't have any children, enough children to have a choir. But I've asked the H family uh, to sing us one before we go to class. So kind of give us a little taste of what we're going to be getting here in a little bit. But for our announcements, today is our 100th uh, homecoming anniversary. And we're thankful for everybody that's here. We want to make everybody welcome, uh, especially the H family. I told the uh, lady there, I said, just make yourself at home. You already know that. She said, yes, I do. I said, that's the way I just wanted to remind you. Make yourself at home. Do what the Lord would have you to do. Just allow his presence to just overwhelm us. That, that's what I look for today. Just, I'd like to just feel like I'm drifting on a cloud. Amen. Uh, following the service this morning, we'll have our lunch in the fellowship hall. And everybody is welcome over there. Now, we're going to be lifting the evening service because usually we're not done over there until... 4.30, 5, service starts at 6 in the evening, so uh, Brother Rogers lifted this evening service, so when we go over to fellowship, fellowship, don't just, don't worry about the time, leave your watch in your car, leave it in your pocket, whatever, just have a good time, fellowship, and just enjoy the day here together. Um, now, we've got the choir practicing Tuesday uh, at 6.30, uh, that kind of depends on Sister Janet, so uh, I will probably have Brother Roger making and uh, one call on that because if she's not able to make it, we don't have a piano player. So uh, let's uh, practice this scheduled as of right now. And the reason we're scheduling it is uh, next Monday starts our revival here at church. Uh, Brother Danny Campbell is going to be here to preach for us from September the 27th through Friday, October the 1st. The choir is going to be singing nightly, and then our singers in the church are going to be doing the special singing. So that's why we're kind of having our practice to get everybody tuned up, ready to go, get fired up. So we had one this past Tuesday, wonderful practice, real good, had a good turnout, a uh, good spirit. That's what I like about it. Even though we're here to practice, and have, the spirit was here, and, and it was a blessing. It was really, really good. I, I appreciate that. appreciate everybody that had a part in it. Uh, next Sunday... September the 26th uh, will be World for Christ Missions Day and Brother Philip Stapleton will be here to preach for us and Brother Jeff Dickens will be here to do the special singing in the morning worship service. So I'm looking forward to that. And Brother Mike Blanton was supposed to be our evangelist for the fall revival. Brother Mike had to cancel because he's had that surgery on his foot. The doctor said no preaching for another month. So Brother Mike had to cancel. He didn't want to. Sister Teresa talked to Pam, and uh, she was really looking forward to come here. As uh, Brother Kaler said last week, this is one of their favorite places to come and sing. Uh, but it was un just the Lord's got control of it. That's all I can say. He's got control. We're, we're going to miss him. They're going to miss being here. But there is a card shower for Brother Mike uh, in, here in the bulletin. Got their address here, and I am sure they would love to hear from each and every one of us here at church. So if you would take the time this week, send him a get well card and let him know we're thinking about him, going to miss him and praying for him, main thing. $9,500 goal, tree removal fund. We've been working on this. I don't know exactly how long, but we praise the Lord. The goal has been met. 
we bought the lot next on the other side of the fellowship hall and there are three huge trees over there that needed to be removed and the price to remove them was ninety five hundred dollars we took up donations for quite some time now and we've met it so uh, we'll see the trees removed here uh, whenever whenever we can get the people down here to do it but we thank everybody that had the part in the special gifts the offering they had a spaghetti uh, fundraiser everybody took part in that it was awesome and the meal was pretty good too so uh, we had a real good time in that and we appreciate the Lord for that and I also, I liked on the bulletin here, the 1949 picture of this church uh, prior to the completion. Uh, the frame structure next to the church here, which is that lot over there, uh, is the former church. And uh, my mother, she was about 13 or 14 then, she took part in the march from the old church into this church. And uh, a few years later, she got to carry me into this church. <laughs> I don't remember that, but uh, it, it happened. All righty. Well, let's have the Yates family come on up and give us a number, and then we'll be dismissed to our classes here. a good song to start with aren't you glad you're saved amen oh I praise the Lord I, I praise the Lord thank him with everything that's in me well I don't Lavana you've got your class so uh, we'll just go ahead and, and go to our classes I got to step back here for a minute I'll be right back at we hope you're glad that you're here we're I know I'm glad that you're here and uh, we've come to, to worship the Lord this is Welcome to our, our 100th anniversary homecoming. Uh, it's hard to believe that this church has been around 100 years and there's been a, a lot of good things done in, in that 100 years and we're still going by the help and the grace of God. Sister Betty Bailey uh, has taped a video for us uh, for the history of the church 
And I thought before we call our, our singers up to sing, we've got the Yates family going to sing for us this morning. It's been a while since they've been here, but we're glad, we're glad, we're glad that they're here. So uh, uh, at this time, we're going to have the, the video of the history of the church, and then we'll call our singers up. Come on, sissy, get that thing started for us. Street. Route 60 was a gravel road called Waverly. 
summer we had no air conditioning. So in the summer we had open windows. And Piedmont Road was the main road for the bus routes also. So you can imagine that there were several times in service we had to stop until um, a train went through all the noise of the community. <clears throat> there were many trains in that day, not like now. So um, there were no bathrooms in the building. They were out back in the little building. There were uh, toilets and there was no water in the church. And the heat system was a great big stove. He had the whole sanctuary, and, and it was, you sat close to it, you were pretty hot. You sat very far back, you were pretty cool. So we have a lot to be thankful for. Finally, they got one microphone, <clears throat> and one night, the police calls started coming in over the microphone. <laughs> so there was a lot of things happen on the journey. The Kellogg congregation worshiped here at that building until 1947 when this present day structure was built. The congregation then marched from the old building into the new. We do have a video of that. My son uh, was, being, was carried in here in my mother's arms. He was just a little, little child. So you see that was quite some time ago. <laughs> um, after purchasing the Philanthropy property next door below the church, the fellowship hall was made and many wonderful meetings have been held there. Uh, at 1986, the church had to have major remodeling, and we held church in the Fellowship Hall. It cost $50,000 to remodel the church. Church, the debt was retired in 1988. In 1989, a $5,000 steeple was added to the bell tower. So that made it look so nice. And we uh, have had many, many wonderful meetings happen here. We've had many years of revivals. And in those days, they lasted two weeks, and there were thought of scheduling a revival was it was the last two weeks. Also, vacation and Bible schools were to be. So, we, we have a lot of heroes in the past. Um, we've, uh, one revival lasted six weeks, and one lasted five weeks. One, one was preached by a 16-year-old girl named Martha Wright. And the other was preached by Reverend Junior Sullivan. And uh, many souls were saved out uh, of the Taylor family, Jim Taylor and his brothers, and all about 16 of them were saved. And Brother Junior, when he held the revival. So it was great. Revivals were sweeping the country then, not only here, it was a ton in our area for a revival. So we uh, have all these, have wonderful gospel singing, and we've had wonderful evangelists, and God has sent us pastors that uh, labored faithfully and someday they're going to reap a great reward for their works. And we hope you will find that list soon in your bulletin. We hope soon to have the history tables in the fellowship all showing all the memorabilia we have gathered through the years. So 
respect of our sanctuary. We're very careful with what we wear and our behavior in the sanctuary. And so it's known as the church with a sweet, sweet spirit. And God visits us because he loves us and we love him. He, he lives here. So our, the main goal of this church is to win souls and care for the sheep that we have till the good shepherd reappears and we feel like that might be pretty soon. We're looking for him. So there have just been how many hundreds of souls have knelt at this altar down through in a hundred years, how many souls have knelt at the Kellogg altar? Who went down a sinner, came out a child of God. Many people were sanctified holy and filled with the Spirit at this altar. I myself experienced that. Many healings. Many healings. One lady I saw healed here very, very bad case of cancer. She had three little children. God healed her. I was present. He healed her. She lived to be old, raised her family. You know, was a little girl that was blind when I'm seeing. I saw that on the side. And a girl uh, that had her ankle was on twisted. I watched it happen. It turned when she left here. Her ankle was turned right. Now. You say that? I don't believe I saw it. So <laughs> you have to believe what you see. God has been so good. So um, it was worth all the prayer. There was much prayer. We had much prayer. We had all night prayer meetings. And, a couple or two couples would take each hour of the night and uh, pray all night long. Fasting, it was a very uh, regular thing that how people fasted in those days. And working takes works to keep a church going. There's got to be a group of people dedicated and working with the Lord. So, uh, it's a beautiful thing. A church that is, has the Holy Spirit is a beautiful thing. Getting rare in our day. If we, we just, the torch has been passed to us. We have inherited a great legacy. And we have a great responsibility. Are we going to let it die? Or are we going to refire? Refire. Never retire. Refire. So, where are we going? You are important. Are we all taking care of our spot? Will we? Will we take care of our spot? Each one is so extremely important. God places people in churches, I believe, with all my heart. I think he prepares them years ahead to take a place in his works. He is not asleep. He's not uh, taking vacations. He's on the job in his work. Is going on 24 7, very much a lot. Uh, we are rising up from the ashes of COVID. Remember Marshall University? Rose up from the ashes of the horrible plane crash. We lost many good friends. And we have lost. In our church, because of COVID, a pandemic worldwide. So, um, we were going to have to say, we 
our pillow, remember Marshall. They said, we are Marshall Will. We are pillow. Everyone, everyone to say that with me. We are pillow. We are pillow. We are pillow. Thank you. Am I ready? I know that all that came from the depths of her heart, and uh, we'll be glad for the day we get to see her back with us. I, I was thinking as, as she was talking there of the number of people that have come into our revival meetings. A lot of times we have uh, singing groups that, that come in and during revival, and, and they'll go away uh, refired and, and, and ready to go on, and, and we want to keep that. We want to keep that heritage that, that we've got going uh, uh, into the next hundred years. Lord knows I'll not be around here, but God will send someone that will continue to, uh, to carry that torch into the next 100 years. We're glad this morning for uh, each one of you, and we want you to, to make sure that after the service is over, that you go over to the fellowship and, and have a, a bite, fellowship hall, and have a bite to eat. Uh, when, we, when we do go over, we're going to uh, ask you to let uh, our singers and their family go first, and then we'll follow in behind, go to the back door. Uh, if you go to the back door and go in, you'll be cool, and you won't have to sit out, stand out in the heat till everything is taken care of. Uh, and once again this morning, I, I'm glad to tell you we have the Yates family with us. I, I heard, uh, heard them warm up, and then I heard them sing that first song, and I'm ready to hear them sing. Y'all ready to sing for us? Amen. 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 Let's give them a, a big hand as they come and sing for us. Time to change the 
nothing seems to stay the same. I guess that's true. I, I can see it too. The cost of living is gone sky high. There's not much a dollar bill can buy. Well, they call that progress. I wonder if that's true. Our future lies in the young See, brother. Yeah. All the generations who don't right. understand the success without God equals failure. And without God, there's no future. Without Him, we're losers on the road to destroy this world. But there's still hope for tomorrow If in our plans we'll dare to include God Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Have your way today, God. Thank you, Jesus. Move forward today. <clears throat> Horse and buggy days are gone. Now we've got way trains to travel on still that's much too slow right in these changing times oh the sky's the limit far as the eye can see got the skill the will and technology to take us to the top yeah yeah we're, we're on an upward climb if there's no place for god in the plan world understand that success without God equals failure and without God there's no future without me we're losers on the road to destroy this world is filled with pain and sorrow but there's still hope for tomorrow if we in our plans we'll get Oh! 
popcorn and fudge and you can tell who eat the fudge <laughs> and you can tell who eat the popcorn day, okay? but I'm so thankful for mom uh, I wouldn't trade my heritage our heritage for anything in this world and uh, when she goes she sings she goes most of the time with us except if we're going to be gone for a good while she likes to stay home and take care of her dog <laughs> yeah but, uh, so thankful for the Lord today. We're going to let Mama sing for you and uh, hope it's a blessing to you, all right? You ready, Mama? Yeah. Touch her go. Sing now. Just look around and you can see times are changing. Yeah. There are so many who have fallen by the way. Touch her Lord. Yeah. I won't let their failure my of the mansion I'll receive someday. Yeah. someday. Someday I'm going to the land that's better. Someday. Someday I know I'll leave this world behind. Someday. Someday when I cross old Jimmy Jordan, I'll inherit life eternal someday. But when I stumble to my Touch knees and ball. start to pray, yes, amen. and the joy I find in prayer leaves me nowhere. Yeah. He'll yeah. break the chains yeah. about my soul someday. Yeah. someday. Someday, someday I'm going to the land that's better. Someday, someday I know I'll leave this world behind. Someday, someday when I cross old Julie Jordan, I'll inherit life eternal someday. Someday, someday, I know I'll leave this world behind. Someday, someday, when I cross on chilly Jordan, I'll inherit life eternal someday. Yes, I'll inherit life eternal someday. The blessed Savior wrote my name when I was born again. He wrote it when he saved my soul. He wrote that I had made every simple wrong. He wrote my name on heaven's throne. He wrote my name. Say you wrote my name. If I 
last yes, day of a thousand yeah. years upon this earth below. Hallelujah. I never Thank you, Lord. forget the day that Jesus wrote my name within the blessed book of life. And he took my every sin away. And if he wrote my name, my name way up, way up. for our heritage. Amen. Mom does an awesome job. Yes. We're so thankful for yes. her and being able to go with us. What a blessing. Amen. Amen. We count it a blessing. Yes. And, uh, yes. All right. Um, but uh, just thinking about our heritage and uh, knowing that her and dad growing up as kids and as you were talking about how important it is to instill in our kids yeah. the Word of God and also to know that when we get in times of need how we need to call out oh, thank you, sweet God. on the King of Kings and the thank Lord of Lords and that He hears us when we pray. Amen. And that the Word, the Bible, the B-I-B-L-E that we learn about in Sunday school that when we learn that those words will ring so loud at times in our lives. And I'm so thankful, Pastor, we were talking before the service briefly and we talked about the promises of God and how we need to hold on to His promises. Because you know what? We all face things in our lives. We all face battles, trials, family crises. Financial hardship, Hallelujah, thank sickness, God. and death. We face it. But you know what? God's word never changes. He is with us every day. His word will sustain us. It will keep us. If we hold on to Him, He'll be right there with us at all times. Amen. Amen. We love you. I'm so thankful that we love you, God. last year. My husband and I Thank you, Lord, for your presence. faced a storm in our life. And many times we all face storms that come around. But you know what? Before the storm ever came, God gave me scripture. Yes, yes. And at the time, yes. I didn't know what it was for. Yes. But I just kept holding on to those words. And I'd get out the Bible and I'd read that chapter. I'd look at it. And I would just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because your word is so true. But when the storm came, my husband and I knew right then what those scriptures were all about. Because, you know, in that time of sickness and in that time of the storm, we began to speak those words over our life, over our family. And it's Psalms 46. Look it up and read it. It says, the Lord, He is my refuge. He is my present help yeah. in time of need. Oh, yes, Amen. Is. Therefore, I'm not going to fear. I'm going to trust Him. Tell I'm going to lean on Him. Tell I'm going to praise Him at all times. I'm not going to sit down and quit, but I'm going to lift up my hands and say, Thank you, Jesus. I praise you, Lord. I thank you, God. You are my refuge. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You ask me how it is. Then I'm still standing. You wonder how I made through the storm. See, I can't boast of any special power. There is no secret. I just held on. And I 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. This world is not my home. Right. Only past Yes. All my treasures. There ain't none. Yes. Someone hey, be on the right. Speaking wrong. Yeah. The angels beckon me right. from his open door. Though oh, I can feel like home. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. I tell you what, if you're not ready to go today, it would be a good time. Yes, sir, brother. Amen. I, I like that scripture. It says, eyes have not seen, and ears have not heard, neither hath entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them which shall love his appearing. And I thought, and I, John, saw, thank God. I'm glad that one day I found a place, thank God, at an old time altar of prayer when the spirit of the living God brought me to my knees. And thank God, I bowed. And a sinner came up. Thank God, a saint of God. And today, I, I know what they're talking about. I, I'm getting ready to go over into Canaan's land where forever and forever and forever, thank God. You think about it, these brothers and sisters and, and many of those uh, that we've seen before, they're going to be singing the songs of Zion and I can shout and sing right with glory to God. Aren't you glad this morning to be in the house of God where the Spirit of God falls afresh and anew upon His people? Thank God. I'm glad this morning. Thank God that I know. Thank God in whom that I happily 
believed and I'm persuaded that he's able. Thank God, aren't you this morning uh, to keep you? Huh? No matter what the troubles the sister is talking about, uh, the time of trials will the trials come. Huh? But in the midst of the trials, we've got somebody there huh, that's holding our hand and taking us through huh, every step of the way. Huh? Thank God huh, huh, for Jesus that we say uh, as we uh, leave here this morning with this anniversary service, uh, we say hallelujah to the King. Huh? It was to these hundred years that you've given us. Uh, and Lord, you can give us a hundred years more if you decide to. Well, praise your holy name. Uh, praise your holy name. Is everybody minded the Lord this morning? It's been a good place to be. The Spirit of God. Somebody said, was it going to preach? No. Why should I preach? Uh, the Spirit of the living God has been here preaching this morning. Uh, and I'll tell you something. Uh, Jesus is still on the throne. Uh, and my friends, He'll, uh, he'll hear. Uh, and He'll answer your prayer and your cry. Uh, if only you'll call. Uh, I thought I was talking to somebody uh, uh, just the other day. Uh, a fellow was telling about uh, uh, the number of souls that they had seen saved in their church. And it can happen in any church if people just get in the mind and the heart uh, uh, to believe God uh, and my friend they'll do what God tells them to do praise the Lord everybody mind the Lord amen praise the Lord can you say praise the Lord with me <laughs> amen I think we've said it a few times this morning we're going to let the singers if they would to take off and start toward the fellowship hall and uh, we'll follow in behind them. Go to the back door and go in. And uh, everybody can stay cool there. i tell you what. Let's stand this morning. Steve dismisses in prayer. Lord, we thank you for today. This beautiful anniversary. We thank you for the last words that Sister Betty Bailey had to say. We missed her here today. Amen. 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 Bless your heart. Thank you for being here.